Hi guys, I'm Nicolette. I'm Brian. Welcome to our channel. In this video, we're going to review the top four mines in Herkimer County, New York, where you can mine Herkimer diamonds for yourself for a fee. review into four helpful sections so you can decide which mine is best to visit for you and yours. The four mines we're going to be reviewing today are KOA, Crystal Grove, Ace of Diamonds, and then Mohawk Valley Mineral Mining. Section one of the video is accessibility and accommodations. This one is extra special to me so I'm going to take this one over. First section in this section is access. How easy is it to get to the mine? So all the mines that Brian had listed have amazing access. Three out of four of them, you can drive right up to where you're gonna dig pretty much and walk maybe five to 10 feet, depending on what you want, to find Herkimer Diamonds. Mohawk Valley is an exception. You park in their parking lot and then they bring you on a really fun gator ride down to the mine, which might even be even better. The second part of the section is lodging. How close can you stay to the mine or are there any places to stay? KOA has a super adorable campground that's great for kids. They have four different ways to camp and I'll tell you about all four. The first way you can camp is just a rustic site put a tent there, that's $39 a night. They have electric and water hookup sites for $79 to $109 a night. There's cabins with a restroom for $189 to $299 a night. And then there's rustic cabins that range from $99 to $139 per night. There is an additional $25 fee if you wanna pick your spot here. Crystal Grove also has four different ways to camp. They have a rustic site for $37 a night. They have hookups for tent for $45 a night. They have RV and van camping for $50 a night. They also have four person and six person cabins ranging from $115 to $130 per night. Ace of Diamonds has two different types of campsites, one with water for $20 a night and one with electric and water for $25 a night. There is only two people allowed per campsite unless you pay an additional dollar fee for every extra person you have. Mohawk Valley does not have a campground, but I wouldn't be surprised if you asked them if they could accommodate you for that. If not, there is hotels nearby. The last part of this section is the environment of the mine. What is the mine like and what kind of feel does it give you? So KOA is very touristy feel. They have a lot of amenities and it's great for kids, but it does give me more of a touristy than a mine feel. This is great if you have children and people with different interests other than mining. Some of the amenities that KOA has, and this might be why their campground prices are a little higher. They have an astrology lounge. They have a cinema by the creek, tubing. They have glamping and a tree house you can stay in overnight. And they have a gem sluge for the kids. The environment at Crystal Grove is just very much that of a mine. Um, it's surrounded by beautiful woods and there are actually paths in the woods very close to the mine. So you can take a break and cool off if you wanted. And we love it there, it's beautiful. Some of their amenities include a camp store at the campground, basketball and volleyball courts, horseshoes, and a pavilion with board games. Ace of Diamonds is just very much a mine. There's not many amenities here, but there are a lot of crystals. They do have a small gift shop inside of the office. So Mohawk Valley is literally one of the most beautiful mines that I've ever been to. You're alongside of a beautiful cliff. You can see for days. It's a beautiful place to mine. It gives shade, it's great vibes. And again, the Gator Ride Up is just really fun. The amenities here are also a gift shop where you pay for your hard hat. Section two is gonna be about the dig packages, the rates that each of these mines have, because that's what's important, right? How much money are you gonna spend to be able to mine crystals? The first one we'll discuss is KOA. So at KOA Mine, if you're 13 years of age and up, it's gonna be $16. If you're from five to 12, it's gonna be $13, and it's free for anyone under that. And that includes your small hammer that you're gonna use to break rocks. At Crystal Grove, if you're not camping, for adults, which is 12 and up, is $12. Age five to 11, it's gonna be $10. If you're camping, you get a little bit of a discount. Adults, $10. The kids, $7. Under four years of age is gonna be free. At Ace of Diamonds, they consider an adult to be eight years old for some reason. So eight and up is gonna be $14. From age four to seven, $7. Anyone under that is free. Now Mohawk Valley Mineral Mining, this one is going to be the most pricey out of all of them on the list even though it's not in Herkimer County, New York, because their Herkimer Diamonds have a chance at being, you know, football-sized. For the first visit, 
you have to do a $25 fee and you get a hard hat you can keep. Nicolette and I both have our own. And then it's $100 per person per visit. Section three, crystal quality. So now you know what you pay, uh, what kind of lodging and amenities they have, but what kind of crystals can you find after you pay that fee? At KOA, we were kind of disappointed. We knew right away that we weren't gonna find the best crystals. So there was one section at the time that we could mine at, and we actually only found one crystal, and it took like two hours to extract. Some of that was due to our experience at the time, this was a couple years ago, uh, but also due to the fact that it's more about the lodging, about the KOA camp setting, than it is about mining Herkimers. It's great for families and kids. We don't know if it's the best for crystal quality. Crystal Grove, for as far as the crystal qualities, it does have some fresh ground. It's never been dug before. It used to serve as a driveway and that location has a bunch of holes where you can dig down along a ledge that hasn't been exposed. We had a really great experience there and were able to find uh, quite a few clusters, really beautiful diamonds, and we enjoyed that. We thought it was well worth the money that they charge for someone to come dig. You can also flip rocks at any of these uh, mines that have been previously broken and see if anyone left behind uh, Herkimer diamonds and that's a really easy simple way to find them surface collecting there was lots of Druzy at the Crystal Grove mine that was one plus that we enjoyed ace of diamonds for crystal quality was actually really surprising we had our best find until we went to Mohawk at ace of diamonds and it was found just walking along and seeing a Herkimer that had to be this big, still in the matrix. That was awesome. They allow you to do the ledge, to search pilings, and then there is fresh dirt digging in one of their fields. Uh, we didn't personally experience that. We just broke rocks and uh, had a really great time, found some of our best crystals to this date. Mohawk Valley Mineral Mining. Now that one is really just on a whole nother level. So a lot of these mines, they've been mining them for years and years, decades. Um, so you're you're getting the aftermath of that. At Mohawk Valley Mineral Mining, you're paying a higher fee, but you're getting the fresh new mine and you're discovering some of the best crystals and finds right there with the mine. Uh, they aren't keeping that for themselves. So that is one aspect. Mohawk Valley Mineral Mining absolutely has some of the best and biggest crystals that we've ever seen. So as far as Herkimer diamonds go, Mohawk Valley Mineral Mining ranks number one on our crystal quality. That being said, every single mine there will produce Herkimer diamonds. If you go to any of them, if you choose any of them, you will have a great time. Section four, this is the overall. How much fun did we actually have at all of these mines? The first mine we visited, and actually this is the first Herc mine we ever visited, was KOA. What do we think about KOA, babe? KOA was tough. <laughs> so we were novices, we were beginners. Uh, it was our first time in Herkimer. We found one crystal, so, and it was a lot of work, right? Yeah. Yeah. Even still, even though we were pretty new to rock hounding, I think we got the vibes pretty quickly that this seemed like a tourist location. Yep. And you might not find very much here, but if you have families or people that like to do other things other than mining in your party, this might be a great place for you. Yeah, one thing is you might not find crystals there, but it's the only mine that offers you the sluice, which is great for kids who go there, they overturn rocks or break them and they don't find anything. Uh, you can buy a pay dirt bag filled with Herkimers or fossils or anything and it's educational for the kids and they can go to the Salouse and clean it out themselves and find crystals, guaranteed. Expect to pay an extra 10 to $15 for one of those pay dirt bags. We bought a pay dirt bag. The second mine we'll talk about the overall experience about is Crystal Grove. Now Crystal Grove was uh, one of my favorites. It was on my birthday. So yeah, that was Crystal Grove awesome. is definitely Brian's favorite. It's beautiful there. I love it too because there's so many different ways to mine. You can dig in fresh ground. You yep. can dig in their pilings that they have or you can break ledge. They have a lot of different options and they were so friendly there. They were we very friendly. We felt very welcomed. Yeah, we loved digging there. I liked flipping rocks and we found some amazing uh, crystals as well. Another thing is their camping setting is awesome. It's right along the creek. All of the cabins are right along the creek and it's it's quite beautiful for you for when you're not mining. 
It might not have as many amenities as KOA, but Crystal Grove is definitely a location that's good for everyone, including family. The third mine we are summarizing is Ace of Diamonds, and that's another mine that I really love personally. It's a very straightforward mine, but there's a lot of different ways to get crystals, and we found some amazing crystals there. I also love the view there. As you're mining, if you go up onto the hill, there's this beautiful view of mountains and we caught a great sunset there that day and we found our biggest herc in the matrix and it's yeah. just stunning last but certainly not least was mohawk valley mineral mining and as brian mentioned this isn't technically in herkimer county but it's very close yeah so mohawk was a whole experience unto itself like it was a different experience than we were used to for sure so when you go there expect to you know be at the mine all day you get driven into the mine in a very like muddy windy course over a, a cliff Super a mountain fun. it is fun it can be a little nerve-wracking if you're afraid of height but it was a, a great experience to go in there it is the most helpful mine they're there all day with you if you have questions they'll be there when you find something big they come up and they go live on their channel we dug a lot at mohawk and we found the biggest herks that we had ever found and they it was big. so exciting literally six pounds you guys six it pound herc it's like our little baby and it just has you know? babies all over it <laughs> We're just in awe of it. Still haven't totally cleaned it, but we just had such a great time there. Yeah, Mohawk Honestly, was beautiful. The setting itself, you know, you got a river in the back, you're on the middle of a big mountain. Spent a lot of time looking for crystals, but also a lot of time just enjoying the view. Same. Uh, so we have this theory cool. that they have some of the biggest herps because it's fresh ground, and we feel like that's maybe the top layer that everyone was finding in Herkimer County, just these big giant herps. And yeah. if you get there, you might be able to get one for yourself. We're not just certain if that's right. That's our theory, though. We think that maybe the mines uh, that are more picked through and have been mined more, uh, they also experienced that when they first started mining there. But. Who knows? If anyone does know, feel free to leave yeah, a comment. Yeah, we were really curious about that. So if anyone knows that, we're really interested on the history of that. Yeah. That being said, we had fun at all of these mines, you guys. Um, I don't know if I have a favorite mine. I do know that I probably wouldn't visit KOA again. I might if I have children, though. Yeah, I mean, I would go there if I wanted to mine and also, like, you know, have a really cool place to camp. Maybe a nice cabin. Uh, it wouldn't be going there just to mine, just to, like you know, pay a fee and bring home a bunch of crystals. I would go there for the whole experience because they do have the best amenities. They this, do. The purpose of this video is not to tell you, go to this mine, don't go to this mine. The purpose is to give you all the information we have and for you to be able to make an educated decision about which mine you would like to visit for you and your family. Or you can just visit all of the mines like we did. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, it's good to make a week out of it. Go to, go to KOA, go to Ace, go to Crystal Grove, go to Mohawk and, and find out, you know, which mine is best for you, which one you think is your favorite. And if you have visited there and you're watching this and you agree with us or disagree, feel free to tell us your favorite mine and why. Thank See. you guys so much for watching this video. We're gonna be doing a lot of mine reviews in the future and visiting tons more mines all throughout the country. So definitely stick around for that. If you Can't like this wait. video, give it a like. And if you want to see more of our mine reviews and all of our other adventures, don't forget to subscribe. If you've made it to this point in the video, we really appreciate you as viewers. That really helps us as a channel. So thank you for watching it till the end. And please leave a like and a comment. That helps us reach more people with more of our videos and helps us grow as a channel.